Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Darren. I hope you are all well and have had a good stitchy or crafty week. Um, so today I'm going to go through uh, the projects I've worked on this week. Um, it's only, I've only worked on five. Um, I've got a couple of people to shout out. Um, not all of the ones I wanted to but I've got a couple. Um, so yeah it's been a, an interesting week. So as you know I'm doing my uh, accountancy at college. Um, and I submitted my assessment, uh, well, resubmitted my assessment, should I say, with the uh, minor corrections that I had to do on there. So I need to say that is now passed, so that is the first unit all done. Um, and they've given me a nice two units to do for this weekend, so <laughs> it's going to be a busy weekend. And then, just to make you aware that in October, I have two assessments to do, um, and I think they're both one 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 week and one the next week so just giving you forewarning that on those weeks you may not get a video from me it depends how much time i get once i've done the assessments to get the the videos done so if you don't hear from me for i think they're both one week after the other so if that's the case you won't hear from me for two weeks um but hopefully i can still get the videos done for you but we will see <laughs> Same as the um, Stitch With Me's. It means that you may not get the Stitch With Me's either on those weeks. But I will try to get those done for you. Uh, but we will see how we go. So um, it's been an eventful uh, last two days here. <laughs> um, we got a storm on Thursday night. So um, that went a, a storm warning out with strong wind, uh, damaging wind, hail and all that lot. Um, and... It, Started about six o'clock and f was finished by about eight. So I was like, okay, it wasn't that bad. And then it started again about half past nine at night, half past nine, ten o'clock at night. And you could hear the wind picking up. And it was like, well, it's fine, everything's locked up. And then at midnight, or just gone midnight, I got woke up to the bedroom doors being blown wide open from the wind. Um, so we have doors that lead out onto the veranda in the bedroom and uh, normally the wind doesn't come from that direction it comes from the opposite direction but no they came that direction and um, one of the doors wasn't locked properly so it blew the door wide open at uh, just gone midnight so that was a good wake-up call <laughs> um, so yeah and then we were expecting to see loads of trees and that down because of the wind and went to work yesterday morning and nothing Everywhere was clean. It was like there hadn't even been a storm. And then yesterday, they said we were going to get another storm. Um, and it was due to start in the afternoon. Um, anyway, it wasn't materialising and finished work, got home. It was still clear. And then they put a warning out. And it's like, well, there's nothing even around. And it started about six o'clock. Yeah, about six o'clock it started. And you could see it coming in from over... That direction um, which is near where Shane's sister lives and you can see it building up so we we're outside watching it building up and you could see it and you could see the lightning going off and then all of a sudden it come from nowhere and boom it is so uh, you can just say we ran inside um, and it lasted about an hour but we were getting battered the wind was so strong and the rain was uh, rain and hail it was brilliant <laughs> so i've got a couple of clips of that um which i will put in at the end of the video if you don't want to watch that one um but yeah that was sure and it was really really loud because we've got a, um, a metal roof um obviously the hail and the rain hitting that it was loud as you couldn't hear anything in here um poor ginger doesn't like the storms um, so we lost TV because it's satellite. So I had to find a program that was recorded and put that on and turn the TV up full blast because the poor cat was scared out of his wits because of all the uh, thunder going off. <laughs> Bless him. Um, but yeah, but that was fun. I enjoyed that. Uh, <laughs> and then it stopped just as soon as it started. <laughs> so an hour later, that was it. Done. Nothing. But we got a fair amount of rain, that was sure. So anyway, I digress. <laughs> So let's get into what we've been doing this week. Now, most of these, I think, are near enough the same as what I worked on last week. <laughs> um, so we'll start. So the first one, I don't have a picture for, so I will insert a picture. And that is um, Daydreams Tiger, which is by Charting Creations. I'm doing this um, 
on 28 count, 2 over 1, 10 stitch. And I'll pop in a before picture. Hopefully you can see this one. Um, so I did a little bit more on this one. So I finished filling in this sleeve here. And then working on colors down to this part. Um, there's more of the black here. So this is the end of the page. And this is the end of the page. And then I started filling in this part, which is the part of the tiger. So I'll bring that in so you can see. So yeah, so the tiger is now coming in. This is the tiger's ear. And this is the, his back part coming through the leaves. So this is where we're up to. So this one got a total of 551 stitches um, this week. So that is Daydream's tiger. So I just fancied working on that one again. I like the colours. <laughs> Um, the second one I worked on was the um, free little kit that I got, which was the red dress, which I'm going to be doing for my niece because it's her birthday. Now, I thought her birthday was this week, and it's not. It's on Friday, so I didn't do a lot on this one, so I've got a little bit done, but I've only got maybe an hour or two hours work on this one to get this finished. Um, but this is where I've still got thread on this. This is where that one's up to now, so... Completed all one colour of the dress, so I've just got a bit of a darker colours to go through. And then the the top part of the bodice. So I've got the darker colours in here. Oh, and the, the back stitching. But it's getting there. But it shouldn't take too long to get that one finished. I don't know how many stitches I put in that one. Probably about 100. <laughs> uh, the next one I worked on there is my... Project that I'm normally working on on Monday, which is my big cats by Tilton Crafts, and I'm working it in the snow leopard here. And this one is being done on 25 count easy guide, and I'm doing it one over one full cross. And this one got a total of only 300 stitches this week. <coughs> but this is where we're up to now. <coughs> so I filled the majority of the last dark stitches up this part I've got two ninja stitches there look um, so I've almost finished there and then I've filled in a lot more colours within his face so I don't have much more to go on this page and this half of his face is done but it's really coming to life now so there's just a couple of light colours I think which just flip through here so there's not an awful lot but that is really really coming along now I'm loving how it looks Feel like I'm being watched. <laughs> so that is big cats. <clears throat> so this one I'll be pulled out again on Monday this week. <clears throat> and do some more on that. Um, the next piece is the piece I did with my stitch with me. Now, I didn't do any after I finished the stitch with me. Um, so this is one of my kits. I do apologize if the lighting's just changed. It's just come over really dark, awesome. Um, so this is Egyptian green. And I'm working in this area up here. I've been mainly working in the the pillar part. So this one only got 150 stitches uh, in my stitch with me. That was it. Um, and it's done on 14 count ivory. I think it's an ivory or cream colored Ada. And this is what we're up to now. I don't know if you can see what I've done, but I filled in like around this area up here and brought it down a little bit and a little bit around here. That was it. <laughs> So not an awful lot on that one, but we got some progress. And then the final piece I worked on was my Super Size Tiger Family of the Jungle by Heaven and Earth Designs, artwork by Janet Patrick Krasny. Just this one. And as you wear, I'm working in this tiger's face here. Now, if you have my Facebook group, you'll see that um, I was pushing to get this page here finished. And I didn't quite manage it um, on Sunday. But I put the rest of the stitches in yesterday. So I've got the page finished on that one. So this is on 25 count easy guide again. And I'm doing it one over one full cross. And this one got a total of 1,600 stitches. So this is where we are now. Oops, hang on, let me move this down. 
but this is where we are now. So as you can see, I've completed this page, so the page finishes there. So all this page is now done. This is the top of the Tanker Cub's head. And I thought this was his eye, but it's not. It's one of his markings. His eye is a bit further down. Um, so that's that's uh, coming along nicely. So now I'm going to aim for finishing this page off, which hopefully shouldn't take me too long. Um, a lot of this is uh, all the same colours. So big blocks of colour in this one. So it looks even better now the sun's gone in. <laughs> So yeah, so this one is really, really coming along. So I'll bring it in for you so you can see him up close. So this is absolutely stunning. I love it. So as I say, this one got 1,600 stitches in it on Sunday. Well, majority of it on Sunday and then 156 last night just to finish off the page. <laughs> and I think I put a couple of colours just through here as well. So yeah, that's my super sized tiger. I'm loving that one. And that's all the stitching. Yep, I lost one of my clips, it fell off. <laughs> so that's all the stitching I got done this week. Um, so it's still a fair amount, but go do me. So um, next week, obviously, I'm going to be working on my Super Size Tiger again and Big Cats. And then I haven't decided what I'm going to work on after that one. Obviously, we're in October now. Um, I know a lot of people do is it dark stitch in October. Uh, I'm just going to stitch on whatever I want, like I normally do. <laughs> so I haven't decided what I'm going to work on next week. I think I might pull out um, Castle Wolves. Pull out that. Might start that. Uh, my leopard piece as well. Get that one started. But other than that, I haven't got a clue what I'm going to be stitching on. <laughs> um, so that's all that. Um, Zooms, I know I said I was going to try and get one done this weekend, but I just never had the time to organise it with finishing off my assessment for college and that. So, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to attempt to probably get one in next weekend. Um, if not, um, then what I may do is just open the Zoom rooms for people just to come in and go when they please. Um, and then you can or chat amongst yourselves. <laughs> and then I might pop in when I get a chance. So we'll see how we go with that one. But hopefully I can arrange one. We'll see. So as I mentioned, I've got a couple of um, shout outs I want to do. Um, now I've only got four at the moment. Um, there is a fair few more, but I'm way, way, way behind on FlossTube. Uh, I'm about two and a half, three weeks behind. So uh, I was, I've been watching for the last couple of days to write down people, but <laughs> it is what it is. Um, so the first one I want to shout out is uh, Linda's 144 uh, Hobbies. Now she's in Sweden, I believe, and she has some really, really good projects on the go. She's doing uh, a fair few um, hate charts. So she's doing, she's got all the bookshelves from Amy Stewart. So she's doing all those. Um, she's got Mirabilia's Galore. So if you like your Mirabilia, she's doing some of those. Um, she has done a sampler, she completed a sampler on the last one that I watched, but she doesn't normally do a lot of sampler stitching. Um, they're not her thing. But she is a, a really lovely lady. Um, so yeah, I rec highly recommend going to, to watch her. She has some awesome projects on the go. Um, the next one, I, I believe I've shouted her out before, but I'm going to shout her out again. Um, which is Ellie, who is Ellie Welly Stitcher um, on YouTube. Um, she's over in the UK in Essex. And she pops in on my Zooms quite often. We have a good laugh on there. So she's doing some um, really good projects at the moment. So she does a mixture of full coverage and like sampler style um, type of ones and your smalls. So she's got a variety of stuff on there. Um, she just completed one on the last video that I watched. <laughs> um, but she's doing a couple of full coverage ones from Pain Free Crafts. So she's doing cheese delivery and feast i think it is and then she's got heaven and earth designs as well so she's really good she's got plenty to view on there so she normally shows about 10 projects every time she does a video she does them every fortnight i believe it is so yeah go and check her out um the next one is a new one that i found now they popped up a couple of times but i've never got around to watching any of the videos um and i actually started watching them about two weeks ago two three weeks ago um and this one is Needlecraft Danny. Now, she's in Europe, 
I can't remember where. <laughs> so she's over that area. I don't know if it's Germany or Netherlands, something like that. I think it's Germany, I think. Um, so she does a lot of full coverage pieces. So if you're into your full coverage, um, she's definitely got loads going on there. She's got golden kites, she's got hades, she's got everything. Um, and she does a rotation. Um, she has a set target that she wants to do to for the year. So once it's done for a year, that's it. It goes away until she's finished all her other ones. And I apologise if you can hear the idiot going past in the motorbike or car, whatever it was. Um, so yeah, so Nero Craftani, um, she's got some really awesome projects. Now she's just been away, so she didn't get much stitching done in the last video that I watched. But again, that's probably two or three weeks ago. <laughs> Uh, so I don't know what she's got up to so far, uh, but she has got some really good projects on the go. And the last one I've got is, um, I've been watching her for a while, but again, I've not done any shout outs for a bit, is uh, Debbie from Creative of Yours. Um, now she's just finished a Hade, uh, which was Gypsy Firefly, I think it's called. Um, it's like a gypsy caravan. Uh, and that one looks absolutely stunning. So she's part of the, Stitch Coutures, uh, I think that's what they're called, uh, which is um, Jemima the Rocking Stitcher, um, Yantina from Yantina Stitches, um, and I can't remember the others, but yeah, she's part of that group anyway, <laughs> um, and she's got, again, a variety of different projects on the go there, she's got some full coverage, she's got some uh, Mirabilias, I think, and some samplers. And she's one of the, um, from Netherlands, so one of the Danish um, ladies. But she has got some awesome projects on there as well. So um, I highly recommend checking out Debbie as well. So they're the ones that I want to shout out this week. I'll get some more for next week. Um, I will link their channels all down below. Um, so yeah, so they're all going to be down below for you. If I remember to put the stuff in last week, I forgot to put all the details in. Like I normally do, like what charts I've worked on. So I apologise for that. <laughs> Um, also as well, while I remember, um, someone asked me, because I've been having a bit of problems just lately trying to thread a needle, I don't know why, um, what needle threader I've been using for my size 28 needles, and I don't know what it's called, um, I think you just search ultra fine needle threader, I think on Amazon and stuff like that, um, and I was meant to drop a link in my stitch with me, uh, well I posted a picture and I forgot, so just so you can see what it looks like. And it's, you've probably seen these before. They normally come in like little sewing kits. So it's one of these. So it's one of these. So it's got a really thin wire on the front there for going through your needle and pulling your floss through. So that's what they are. Just throw it on the floor. So they are really, really handy. So if you see those, normally I'd say they come in little sewing kits. Uh, mine came in a little sewing kit. I don't know where I grew it from. But <laughs> mine came in a little sewing kit. Not like I do any sewing. Um, so it was in there and it really comes in really handy. But you can find them on um, like Amazon and eBay and stuff like that. Just search. I think it's called, I think you search Ultra Fine Needle Threader and it'll bring these up. So that's what I've been using and it works wonders for a size 28 needle. Try and put it back right now. So that's everything I've got on there for you. Um, so that's everything from me that, and today guys so again uh, if you do have any questions or comments then please feel free to drop those down below um, you can email me as well my email address is dizzystitcher at gmail.com and I'm also on Instagram as well um, so you can message me on Instagram um, I'll list all the projects that I've been working on down below in the description box, as well as links to the four channels that I've just mentioned there. So I highly recommend checking them all out. They all they are really good um, stitches, and they have some awesome projects on the go. Um, and Ellie as well um, is actually doing a retreat for with um, Teresa Little Stitcher over in the UK. Um, so they're doing a, a retreat in Essex. I think towards the end of this year. So if you're interested in that, pop on her video and she puts all the details on there with regards to it. So that's everything. So as I said, I'm gonna include a couple of clips on the end of the the storm that we got. Um, I apologize, it will sound really loud, I'll say, because we've got the 
metal roofs with the rain and that hitting it it is really really loud um so just be aware if you are listening through headphones on this it probably makes you jump <laughs> um so right that's it so i'm gonna get going i'm gonna get my college work done for this weekend and uh hopefully get a stitch with me done as well so if you don't see a stitch with me i apologize but i'm gonna try and get it done well i'm gonna say i've got two units to get done this week so i don't think the lecturers like us one week we've got one unit next week we've got two so we'll see how we go um so that's everything from me so again guys um hope you have a good stitchy week or crafty week uh stay safe wherever you are and uh until next time Happy stitching and bye bye for now. Thanks for watching. Bye bye. Yeah, typical. Got the fucking camera on and uh, no lighting. Oh! It's coming. I knew we were going to cut it. Oh, time to get in. That water trapped overflowing again. <laughs>